nice little test ride. Body in between this. Man, y'all don't even need me out here. Y'all go ahead. Alright, so about this we're going for a ride. It's a good start. Long as I can find a fire. Well, boss man, but I got this. All right, so it is week seven, actually week eight for deadlifts, and I'm, I'm so excited to get in the gym. I believe I get up to 565 pounds, which is uh, was my max, I guess, two times of my attempts ago. So I've done 563, 573, uh, or 561, 573. But, uh, you know, this is what it all comes down to, guys. All of your training, all of your hard work, all of the dedication that you've been putting into the gym comes down to the final weeks of your training. So do, do not let up. On the way to the gym, envision the lift, know that you can pull it, and get in there and dominate the weight. It shouldn't matter what the weight is, it could be 135, it could be 555 pounds. Crush the weight, and make some progress. <laughs> yes, deadlifts, here we go. Welcome to yet another deadlift video. In the last one you guys saw, I got up to 545 pounds. Now being on week eight of my programming, I get up to a whopping 565 pounds, which is only about eight pounds less than my all time PR. And I'm definitely, you know, I, I like to allow you guys to watch my final, maybe my, even my final, especially my deadlifts, but sometimes even like my final squad, just completely raw so you can get into it and get the experience. Um, I, I really enjoy doing these lower rep schemes. Uh, luckily it was, you know, Simon who does my programming right now. Uh, he, he had me on, you know, before doing sets of three, doing sets of maybe up to five. But this week was, uh, was all of the glory because I only had to get up to singles once I got I think above 500 pounds, it was just singles. Uh, I did like 525. Um, I'm going to throw the weight, the numbers on the screen, and a lot of y'all have been asking me to do that. So, um, And there's another thing. Like, I, I know, a lot of you guys always wonder if those are specific shin guards. They're actually just my right knee sleeves. Flipped inside out. Um, really satisfied with how my deadlift is going. Today felt awesome. Yeah, I, you know, and Especially when you get into PR mode. I mean, I wouldn't call 565 PR, but it's, it's up there. It is very up there. Um, this would be the second heaviest weight I've ever pulled in my life tonight, and it, it's a grinder. And unfortunately, I lose my balance a little bit, and I don't I don't hitch like I did in the last video. But the bar actually, because I fall forward, I don't want to hitch, so I, I kind of grind it out, and the bar lowers. And in a competition, you can't have the bar descend once it starts ascending. Descending means going down. Ascending would mean going up. But uh, guys. I'm, I'm so excited for next week. The, the next deadlift video you see, honestly, should be about a PR, I think, because, um, you know, we're getting into the hundreds of percents. I'm going off of 95% of my programming, but now Simon has me up doing, like, I think this is like 104%. So, I, this is some heavy pulls, but the entire day, when you have a, a specific weight like this, you really need to focus so much. Like, the entire day, I'm just thinking about the pool, the drive there, my heart is just going. I, I'm drinking my pre-workout, which you know is helping is also. Normally I don't need pre-workout for my deadlifts, but when I get into these PR modes, I'm just like, I need every possible aid to, uh, to help me get up there. And uh, I mean, luckily after this, after this next week, so the next deadlift video you see, I'll be taking about a week long deload, a very needed deload, because I've gone a solid, I guess eight, maybe eight to 10 weeks of very heavy training and my body will just be ready, uh, you know, to take a break, you know, to cool down because you let the body, you know, recuperate and then I'll hop on a new program and, uh, you know, the, the, the competition will be here before I know it in December. I'm really excited about that. Hopefully I'll go in there and do very well. Not only will I set PRs, but I'll impress everyone there watching the skinny man lift. Because normally when I go in these powerlifting competitions, it's honestly a lot of shorter guys. It's it's never, I mean, 5'10", powerlifter, 165, pulling hopefully like a 1,300 total is, you know, not not, not among common. Um, I, I try to get some cool, cool angles. You'll notice there's so many transitions in this video, and I said I like spend so much time getting different camera angles just to make the video, you know, a little unique. Stick around for the end of this video because I'm going to get into a talk about the fluctuation of strength, which I believe is what the title um, is listed. Right here, guys, 525 pounds, 520. I'm going to have to re-add it up before I put it on the screen. It'll be on the screen, whatever it is, 520, 525. Goes up very, very smooth. 
Next up is gonna be 565 pounds. Again, this is the second heaviest pull I've ever done in my entire life. Previous max, 561 before this. My most current max is 573. Enjoy this raw clip and then we'll touch base uh, right after and we'll discuss the little, the little droop that I get. So enjoy this, guys. So as you see, I managed to get it. I'm so stoked. Um, I, I, hopefully you guys are just as excited for the next deadlift video as I am because it will be something hopefully spectacular. Finished out just with some light rows followed by some pull-ups. Uh, thank you as always for watching. I really, really do love the support and the feedback that I get helps me keep staying motivated to make more videos for you guys. So thumbs it up if you liked it and I'll see all of y'all in the next video. <sighs> All right, what's up, guys? So I figured a, a cool topic that I would talk about is Nick, Mr. Nick Wright, actually texted me, and because I told him that I pulled the 565, and he sent me like a long video chat that was basically asking, you know, whenever me and him get together, why does my strength fluctuate? Does he think that there's a difference between, um, you know, because of my body weight jump and deadlift? Like I can't pull 545, 555 on any given day of the week, but my max is like you know 573, so I should be able to pull around that weight but if you'll notice in a lot of my clips that my strength almost fluctuates and I kind of want to talk about why that is um, specifically with Nick it's because when I do these collabs and I go um, you know it's on a Saturday and my training session maybe on a Monday or Tuesday and if I don't have the adequate six seven days rest before my next pull session and I'm just trying to pull on camera to uh, you know show the other channel subscribers that I'm strong at a small body weight then I'm not gonna be able to pull what I should pull and uh, it kind of psychs you out, but, but as long as I'm on my program, as long as I'm slowly but surely following in a linear fashion and making small jumps in my volume, small jumps in my rep schemes, uh, and, and it's working, and I'm hitting my numbers, then I should be able to progress each week as long as my nutrition is on point, I'm long enough to get enough calories. I train during the same time during the day. When I do these collabs and stuff, I may, not, I may train at, you know, one in the afternoon and do deadlifts, and that's just not what I'm normally used to. You'll notice I never film deadlifts on the weekends. Uh, I just, I can't <laughs> get that mindset. I, I have to sit at a desk for eight hours and then, you know, come pull. But you, your strength will fluctuate, guys. You know, you could, I could, I pulled 565 tonight. I could, next week, when I, my programming goes up, which I'll probably have to honestly pull new max, at least probably 575, um, you know, maybe I won't get that, but I think I should, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry for this strength. I'm hungry to make uh, progress for you guys and myself. <laughs> I care more about you guys and myself, but if your strength fluctuates, if one week you have a bad week, one week you have a good week, and nothing has changed really, your nutrition's the same, don't worry about it because strength fluctuates, <laughs> unfortunately. And that's just with me, my deadlift strength fluctuates. The only thing that I would say really is like consistent I mean, I would say I could pull eight, five, over 500 pounds, like 5 to 515 any day of the week. I could probably pull that every single day of the week, no problem. Like, I don't, 500 pounds is, is heavy, but it's not, I can do it. I can do it! I, I can do it, Captain! But uh, don't get worried if your strength fluctuates. Stay in your programming, and you'll make all kinds of gains. <laughs> all kinds. All right.